Wooly had his first reaction be tax day. It's quite sick. And if he did not, the deception, right. the disinformation, the mm -hmm. poisoning of the atmosphere is much worse. So that is something I'd like to start with because what we're really looking at, and this is something that I spend almost all my time looking at, really, is the disconnect between fact and conclusion between understanding what's going on and trying to, to learn as best we can in, in you know, good faith, and then making a judgment based on what you're learning. Over the past, and this is not just a phenomenon of the Obama administration, I actually set out to write my new book to try to understand this disconnect between fact and conclusion, and I wanted to find out if there was a precedent for it in our history. And I find out that it's actually quite old. It's been a long time coming, and I'll explain that a little bit. But I thought it might make just a little sense just to tell you a little bit about where I'm coming from, uh, how I ended up on this podium, and, and uh, uh, might help you understand my, my point of view. I grew up in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. and my father uh, was a writer. He's a novelist and also a television writer and other screenplays. And he was a conservative. And it sounds like an opening to an AA mood meeting or something. <laughs> <laughs> but he was. He was a conservative in Hollywood, and this was the 19, early night. He had become a conservative by probably the late 50s, um, having made, cast his first vote as a GI in 1944 somewhere in the north of Europe. Um, but he did become a conservative by about 1960, and uh, it was a very um, strange, uh, impre my, my impressions of growing up in such a household it, are, are strange in the sense that there was a lot of yelling. When his friends, would, his writer friends and other friends in that business would come over, there would, uh, it would be a very nice dinner until you would get to whatever the uh, event of the, the, the day was, whether it was the Vietnam War, or uh, various aspects of student protests, you know, all of the all of the culture wars and, and real wars that we've been through in those times. And I mention that mainly because it it, we, it was sort of an us against them sort of household in that sense. And so I think that in some ways it sharpened um, it sharpened my perception in terms of trying to learn about the world around me in a different way than it might have been if we'd been living in. Um, a red state, <laughs> and and I don't know that I would have you know followed this particular path, but this had always kind of fascinated me. Um, just to give you a little.